Do you remember a time when the only way to find out what was happening in the world was through the evening news? Or if you wanted to find out the distance between the sun and the earth, you had to ask a teacher or look it up in the library. Liked a song but didn't know its name? Well, you had to just sit by the radio and hope that it would be announced by the DJ. Today, we carry the vastness of human knowledge in our pockets. Facts, perspectives, opinions, all accessible by the touch of a button. With so much information out there and so many resources to navigate them, it can be difficult to make sense of it. My name is Christina Morlevar. I'm a social entrepreneur, author, and human rights advocate. I'm also a marketing professional. Not long ago, I got thinking about how much the way we access and consume information has changed dramatically in recent years. So how has this access to information changed our collective psyche? And how has it impacted our basic human need to make sense of it all? And how can brands benefit and thrive from helping us along this complex journey? And so I set out to gather insights from experts in the field. Malcolm Gladwell is a world-renowned journalist, author, and public speaker. He's written for The New Yorker for more than 25 years and published seven books, five of which have charted on the New York Times bestseller list. You know, through most of our history as human beings, problems were caused by a lack of information. They were puzzles. And you solve a puzzle by going and finding new data that resolves the problem on the table. In an information-scarce world, that's what decision-making looks like. It's puzzle solving. Well, we're no longer in an information-scarce world. We're now in the opposite. We're in a world where we're inundated with information. So we're no longer really dealing with puzzles. Uh, we're dealing uh, with mysteries. You have a big mound of data in front of you. And now your job is to sift through that data, make sense of it, prioritize it, throw out what isn't important, zero in on what is important. It's a task of understanding and a task of analysis. Um, in the digital age, the problems that we're faced with are overwhelmingly mysteries. Sapna Chada is Google's Vice President of Marketing for India, Southeast Asia, and South Asia. Sapna's experience as a business and marketing leader gives her a unique perspective on the ways consumer behavior is changing here and now. In 2020, the onset of the pandemic pushed millions of people in Southeast Asia and India to begin using digital in ways we hadn't before. Without a choice, we had to embrace this behavioral change. And the amazing thing is these new behaviors have now become habitual. People have made the most of this hybrid life taking the best of physical and digital solutions where it's most convenient. They now use digital to do things that used to be strictly in-person activities, whether it's attending a yoga class, catching up with friends, or even streaming a wedding to loved ones across the world. People are even buying cars online now. What happened to test driving? The physical and digital worlds have become seamless extensions of one another. The modern consumer embraces this variety of choice. Consumers want offerings that feel personal to them, that meet their needs and mirror their values. But this plethora of choices is a double-edged sword. Hey, what are the things that uh, human beings intuitively have difficulty doing is prioritizing information. So I say to you, what are you looking for in a car? And you say, well, I want something that's roomy, that gets good gas mileage, that looks good, uh, that goes really fast, and is really convenient to service, right? That's a typical response a consumer might give. But in fact, that's not really the way, that's not really what you want in a car. Because if, you, if I were to sit with you and interrogate those decisions, I would discover that some of those factors matter far more to you than others. What really matters to you is that it goes really fast. Or what really matters to you is that it's roomy enough that you can fit your two kids' seats in the back and have room for all your luggage. And everything else doesn't matter as much. That kind of ability to look at a whole series of data points and appropriately rank them is one of the hardest and most valuable things we can do to assist people in making sense of, of complicated decisions. 
It makes sense that with large amounts of unstructured information, people become confused, even paralyzed in their decision making. Hi, it's Christine. You have the information, right? And this results in a breakdown in trust as people feel the need to be continually discerning and skeptical about which sources they engage with. In fact, 87% of people say trustworthy information is more important now than before the start of the pandemic. And 84% say they would purchase from brands that provide trustworthy information. There is no denying it. Trust is a big issue in the modern digital world, and it's something we as humans struggle with on our own. I think we can all agree that in this day and age, trust has to be earned. You cannot just show up online with a great offer or idea and expect people to take you at face value. As marketers, we already know that decision-making for consumers is a complex, emotional process. And in an era of information overload, we've discovered that people tend to be even more distrustful online, further adding to the emotional strain of decision-making. We recently conducted in-depth research across India and Southeast Asia to explore how people make purchase decisions. And we found that when people are exposed to a purchase trigger, such as a digital ad, a billboard, or even a conversation with a friend, they begin a process of exploration and using evaluation, using a wide range of online sources to review their options and further refine their decisions. We call this the messy middle, a complex space between triggers and purchase where customers are won and lost. At its core, this messy middle is fueled by emotional tensions that are looking to be resolved and is unique to every single person. For example, I recently switched from a cosmetics brand that I've used for a long time to a number of new brands that I had never tried before. It all started with me searching for professional look for women. I bounced around between reviews, news articles, and landed on a video of a public figure who was talking about her personal style and her makeup routine. I watched this video, which was super informative, but rather than making my decision easier, it just opened up so many more questions for me. She was talking about different brands, contouring, skin tone, when and why she wears red lipstick. So after watching that video, I then spent hours and probably days going through countless searches to get answers to all of those questions that were now in my head. And gradually, piece by piece, I was able to figure out what would work best for me and which products would fulfill my needs. And I think that's also a really important thing to remember. There is rarely a right or wrong answer in these instances. What's right is different for every person. Septa's story is one that is no doubt familiar to people all over the world. That question of what's the best choice for me often leads us straight into the messy middle. A lot of people find navigating the messy middle extremely difficult. In fact, research proves that information overload is a leading cause of difficulty in making purchasing decisions. So what skills do people need in order to make good decisions? We think of deci good decision making as being a function of intelligence and expertise, and we overlook how much it's fundamentally a question of character. There's a wonderful research that, um, uh, that characterizes decision makers into two groups, foxes who know uh, a little bit about a whole great number of things, and hedgehogs who know a lot about a little. And intuitively, I think that we believe he hedgehogs are the ones who in their area of expertise make the best decisions. Turns out empirically that's not the case. The fox has a tremendous advantage over the hedgehog because if you know a little bit about a lot of things, it's probably easier for you to exercise humility in your decision-making. You're never blinded by your own expertise. You're always aware of your own limitations going into any kind of, of complex decision. And for this, people turn to search. In a world where decision-making is more difficult than ever before, people are continuously searching for answers. That's why we are humbled that billions of consumers turn to Google to search for answers every single day. 
And this pushes us to continuously improve to provide people with the most relevant and helpful information from the most trustworthy and authoritative sources to help them make better decisions. Throughout the messy middle, Google search is the trusted place consumers keep coming back to. In fact, 73% of people say Google search is their number one touch point when looking for relevant information across all categories. People come to search to gain clarity and confidence when making a decision. This is because we fundamentally design search to identify information that people are likely to find useful and reliable. Additionally, we've developed a number of search features that not only help you make sense of the information you're seeing online, but that also ranks this information based on how helpful it will be and provides direct access to important sources like health organizations and government entities. By doing this, search has removed some of the complexity people have to contend with when they make decisions. Google Search is standing as a trusted information source and a platform that people come back to time and time again comes down to a willingness to continually evolve with the user's ever-changing needs and serve the best to users. And that evolution is constant. The search algorithm changes on average six times per day. As I discovered, this is something that drives Google's search team on their mission to continually provide a more useful service. One of our latest innovations that is powering our search technology is the multitask unified model, or what we call MOM, which is an AI-powered tool that can simultaneously understand information across a wide range of formats, such as text, images, and video. MOM is not just able to process information, but it's able to make implicit connections across all these different sources, all at the same time. People across Southeast Asia and India, they've continued to deepen their relationships with digital, with growing searches related to online shopping and internet connectivity. We've collated all of these trends into our Year in Search report, which is available for you to read on our Think with Google site. It's clear that Google Search is now integral with people's decision-making processes, and this presents an incredible opportunity for brands. Consider the messy emotional paths to purchase that consumers are treading and figure out how to help them on their way. Today, people have more access to information than at any other time in history, and it's our job to make sure they're connecting with the highest quality, most authoritative, most relevant information for them and that they're able to access the information that makes a difference in their lives. This is our core value, and we feel deeply responsible to our users to make this happen.